all right what's going on you guys it's royce jacob welcome back to the channel in this video i want to talk to you about how high i think riot blockchain and marathon patent group stocks can go in the year 2021 now as many of you know and have thankfully experienced firsthand these two have had an amazing 2020 and there's no reason for me to believe that they won't continue this trend going into 2021 it's crazy and awesome to see how far these two have come honestly over the course of the year as we've been covering them and it really just speaks to the to the principle of trading the base principle in trading of when you know you have a good thing just stick to it stay on it and just ride that wave and again with all the fundamental strength behind riot mar and obviously bitcoin who who does heavily dictate the price action of riot mar long term uh there's so much fundamental forces behind these and technical forces you guys these are in a bull market and trends go up the trend is your friend in a bull market over the medium to long term so just keep that in mind and again there's no reason for me to not believe that these stocks won't have equally as good if not maybe an even better 2021 than 2020 there's going to be a lot of things that are better in 2021 than 2020 let's hope so and uh yeah i'm confident that riot and Mara and Bitcoin, of course, um, are going to be part of that club. Okay. So as always, I'm excited to get into it. We'll go over each topic that we're going to be discussing and we'll dive into each one individually pretty straight up today you guys we're going to be strictly looking at the charts keeping it technical we do have some fibs i'm sure you guys know what those are if you guys have uh, seen me cover those before i don't cover them too often but now that we are in this blue sky territory this wild wild west of, of new um, not quite all-time highs for riot and marathon uh marathon patent group but new all-time highs in bitcoin and once you get back into this again blue sky wild west territory that's when the fibonacci patterns really come into play in my mind okay so we will go over over the long term, I do have these fibs right here. I'll let you guys know where I think these uh, these stocks could be going. More specifically in Q1 of 2021, because this rally is in full effect right now. There is FOMO, there is hype, there is a lot of fundamental drivers behind these stocks right now. So we will stick to Q1 2021 for now. Of course, I'm going to be covering these across 2021 you guys these have been my favorite stocks this past year they're probably going to be my favorite stocks going into 2021 little hint hint at an upcoming video but um yeah you guys i'm excited to talk to you guys about that so of course we will take a look at all of these on trading view which is what we're looking at right now we'll kick it off with bitcoin king bitcoin because again that will dictate longer term price action of riot mar of course being that ride blockchain and marathon patent group are bitcoin mining companies they are paid in bitcoin so the higher bitcoin goes <laughs> the more pro the more profits and the more proceeds riot and mar see okay so we will kick it off with bitcoin definitely got some fibs on that chart and then we'll move on to riot and mara so again we're focusing more on long term here but because these both have had a pretty eventful day um, i know a lot of you watch these this day-to-day -day content so i will focus on the short-term time right like very short term like probably like tomorrow like today and tomorrow at the very end of the video okay so stay tuned for that if you want to know what i think could go down before 2021 before the new year which is again tomorrow's our last trading day we got a three-day weekend coming up so um yeah stick around for the end till the end for that let's get into this but of course first i will ask you guys to please give the video a like if you do go on to gain value from it today subscribe to the channel if you're new around here want to catch more content like this and of course check out my complete portfolio daily newsletter first link down in the description if you want to know exactly how i'm trading riot and mar in real time a lot of the stock positions you guys i don't trade that much but i do pretty heavily trade call options positions on riot blockchain marathon patent group a lot of our favorite uh bitcoin blockchain related stocks on this channel as well as many other plays in the portfolio you guys i don't just i in my portfolio this is what i make a lot of videos about right now because it's such a hot sector but there's actually a lot of plays that i'm really uh, I'm, I, I see is very, very solid and very promising right now in my portfolio that have actually been doing very well as well. Okay. So again, if you guys want to look kind of behind the scenes as to what I'm doing, what my personal portfolio looks like to the T, um, first link in the description. Once again, I do also send out a, a daily newsletter during market hours, every trading day that rationalizes my thoughts. I explain why I made the trades I made as well as give you guys up to date to real time TA while the markets are actually open. Okay. So if you're interested in that, once again, first link in the description, I'll stop talking now let's get straight into it but if you do as always i appreciate you okay so right blockchain again we will kick it off with uh the big dog bitcoin because that's just i feel like we can't not kick it off with that 
So Bitcoin, new all-time highs, of course, new all-time highs every day. That's what we'd love to see. I'm just kidding, not every day, but we are now at new, literally at all-time highs as I'm recording this video, over $29,000, currently sitting at 29,255. You guys, this is crazy. We're almost at the big 30 bomb that we talked about a few days ago in the crypto convo. Uh, you see that nice big red price target right there. And uh, it looks like, it looks like Bitcoin, um, once again, like it has so many times this year already, might beat me to it, might beat us to the punch, okay? And that just shows that once again speaks to the fact that we're in a bull market right now, you guys. The trend, do not fight the trend. More people are hopping on the Bitcoin bandwagon, more people are learning about it, and the more people educate themselves on Bitcoin, the more they understand how the fundamental purpose that Bitcoin serves in our financial system 2.0, the next generation of our financial system, okay? So, uh, again, Bitcoin all time highs. That's amazing. Let's zoom out a little bit. We have been on the one hour just to make things look a little more digestible. But for Bitcoin specifically, let's move out to, uh, you know, we'll actually move out to the daily. OK, because we're going to zoom out a little bit here. This is long term. So uh, Fibs ultimate high to ultimate low that is where you set the one and one point so you can see one the lower one up here top one right here that is uh setting the initial fib and just for reference maybe you guys can pause if you want i don't want to spend too much time on this but if you look at each area within this range you can see that these fibs really do play a part like general floor is general ceilings just general areas of support and resistance again you guys fibs this is not guaranteed. Nothing here is guaranteed. This is just one of the few measurements and uh, and technical metrics that you can use as far as charts are concerned to dictate long term price action in like, again, parabolic rallies in bull markets. OK, so that's why I'm talking to you guys about fibs right now. Uh, this is for the long term. So as you can see right now, we are at the high because <laughs> because to draw this fib, I had to go to where we're at today. So currently sitting at the one, the next level at one point six one eight is going to be around 40,000. The nice thing being uh, considering the lower end of this fib, this cycle was around 10K. And then now the top ends at 30K. This makes the fibs pretty even. So you're going to see this first one over at 40,000. I think maybe by the end of this current, the short term cycle in Bitcoin, we could very well see a 40, $41,000 Bitcoin before we see a significant pullback. Uh, I want to let you guys know right now, I do think that sometime in January, I know it's very vague, but sometime in January, I'm Personally, I'm definitely expecting a significant pullback down back to probably the maybe the low to mid 20,000 region. I'll explain why that is in a future video. Again, shout out to the newsletter group. Um, but on the top side, you guys, I think I think the top end of this fib around 40,000, 41,000 is not a far fetched um, is not a far fetched ask by any means we are currently at i believe like a 500 580 ish uh billion dollar market cap in bitcoin we are now bigger than every bank in the world with bitcoin it's crazy to see how much bitcoin itself has grown as an asset and it's just again you guys it just it, it speaks to it speaks to how important bitcoin is and again the more people learn about bitcoin the more people realize how how valuable of an asset it is it's literally the scarcest asset on the planet is and in terms of the markets at least okay so, um, again, 40,000 is the first fib. The next one up at 2.618 is going to be at about 60,000. So, again, some nice even levels here. As we go up, uh, this is where things get obviously it, it darkens as uh, as it goes higher because it just gets a little you're every time you reach another fib level you're getting into riskier and riskier territory as we zoom out as we progress through 2021 so the top end at 4.236 is going to be at about ninety thousand dollars that's that seems fair just from a game theoretical perspective uh, again i've been saying this a lot in the newsletter as well is now that we are in this blue sky wild west i'm going to say that a lot as well um, now that we're in this blue sky territory, game theory is going to really play a part. So psychological evens are going to play a significant factor. And honestly, 90,000 makes sense because a lot of people are going to be thinking, oh, now that we're now that we're like 85, 90K, we're probably going to go to 100 because we're almost there. But everyone's going to be thinking that and then we might see a pullback in 90K. So it actually makes sense. Uh, again, game theoretically that maybe we do see a pullback around 90K. So we'll see if that happens not sure again you guys fibs are just to give you a general idea of what could potentially happen when we are in these bull markets and uh i'll just say right now i think 40k by the end of this short-term bull market so talking talking mid to late january mid just to keep it safe mid january i think we could very well see a forty-one thousand dollar bitcoin prior to a significant pullback prior 
to the continued rally. I think 2021, we could see a six figure Bitcoin. I think that's very, very possible, like by the end of 2021. But it's gonna be a roller coaster, guys. I've been saying that the whole time. When you're in a bull, when you're in a bull market, when you're, if you want to get involved, you have to make sure you have thick skin. You got a strong stomach because this is gonna be an absolute roller coaster, and there are gonna be some loops along the way. Okay, so Bitcoin again, you guys. I, I, as always, I encourage you to draw these on your own charts. Always do your own research, do your own due diligence. I'm just a guy, and these are just my thoughts. Okay, so that said, that is Bitcoin. I don't. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm rambling, you guys. I don't want to spend too much time on Bitcoin because this is a ride and Mar focused video. So let's cut the BTC and get straight into ride and Mar. You know what? We'll stay on the daily just cause. So again. After I do the long-term analysis, I will go back to Riot and Mara and do the do the short-term analysis. Okay, so Riot and Mara similarly as well. You can see the low side is set at about three uh, three twenty. And uh, keep in mind, you guys, I could go lower than this. Like if we do zoom out, like to the absolute lows way back over here in May. But I'm just focusing on this absolute bull cycle, the recent bull cycle that we've seen, starting only in early November. So things have escalated real quickly. It's crazy how things have gone again from 320 to a high of just today, set all time high at eight, over $18. And um, I mean, yeah, right. I've been talking about it for so long. I talked about how irresponsibly bullish I was on Riot blockchain, and uh, now it's not looking so irresponsible, huh? So uh, moving on to this longer term um, prediction via fibs. Okay, so again, one and one ultimate high, which we set this morning, ultimate low at the beginning of this rally, at least this recent rally. Um, we're seeing the next level, which is this blue level right here, the 1.618 at about $26. Okay, so as far as fibs are concerned, that is where the first fib comes into play, the 1.6 fib, okay, that blue fib. But I've had this line drawn here for so long, this $21 and a half dollar level that, that acted as significant, that acted as both a ceiling and a floor back in the 2017 run. Keep in mind, Riot Blockchain and Marathon Patent Group both peaked out in 2017, 2018 at about $45 a piece, okay? So they're not at all-time highs yet. So there are still some areas that traders are gonna be looking at uh, when it comes down to figuring out when to buy, when to sell, what levels to look at. Just, again, what, what, what levels of support and resistance are traders gonna be looking at? Because that is what's ultimately gonna dictate price action, okay? So this line around 21.50, did act as a significant line of support and resistance back in 20, uh, I can't remember if it was late, late 2017, early 2018, whenever Riot ended up peaking, it was either December or January. And um, that is where I think we could see a short-term ceiling for Riot. But um, again, you guys, because we're in a bull market, it's so hard to tell. So uh, I'm sorry, this is a very wide, wide price prediction as far as the, the short-term talk in January price range goes. 21.50 to 26.50. So that's five dollars. That's a significant percentage um, gap right there. But again, you guys, it's very hard to tell. I've looked at a lot of charts over, over my time, and even w again, when you just get into these phases, it's very hard to tell. I do think we will likely see resistance here. If we see resistance here, if we break, um, we'll probably see a little bounce down from 21.50. This is tradable. Bounce down from 21.50, for example, bounce off the line of um, what is new support on this ascending channel, uh, previous line of resistance will break through the ascending channel, bounce off 2150 because it's a historic ceiling, come back down to test this new line of support that was once resistance on the ascending channel, and then move up by the end of hopefully this like short term rally, this again, mid January ish rally to ultimately reach $26, $27, whatever, give or take a few cents prior to retracing significantly. And uh, again, shout out to the newsletter group. I did say literally in tomorrow's newsletter that I'm going to be giving all my downside price targets it's for stocks like or for Bitcoin, for Ether, for Riot, for Mara, because at this point, the downside price targets are almost more important because then you can start accumulating and, and dollar cost averaging down on your positions long term. OK, so uh, again, short term, maybe we'll see maybe big maybes here. It's all speculative for the most part. Uh, twenty six and a half to twenty seven dollar uh, riots again, mid January ish, maybe uh, coming up to the 2.618 will come up to $41. That is close. That's nearing riots all time high. Um, and then after that, we will, uh, just going to the last one, maybe by the end of the year, maybe by the end of the midterm bull, uh, bull cycle, we could see a $64 riot If we do ultimately come up to test this top 4.2, 4.236 fib. Okay. 
So that would take us to about $65. That would be what a 4X from here, a 4X from here, considering we are at $1.166 billion market cap would be about a $5 billion market cap, which does not sound out of the picture for me, you guys. Like stocks like Nikola, remember Nikola earlier this year, $30 billion market cap for, it was just a promise. Nikola is still a vi and the fact that Nikola is still at like a $15 billion market cap or something, something crazy. I haven't looked at it in a long time, so please forgive me if I'm wrong on that. Riot is going to be printing money. Riot and Marathon Patent Group are going to be printing money. They're paid in Bitcoin. The asset they're paid in is going up at a rapid pace. They're going to make significantly more money and they're profitable. Okay. So that's huge. And uh, especially in the market we're in right now, you guys, it would not surprise me in the slightest to see a $10 billion market cap in both of these which would be a nine, about a 9x from these levels. So you're looking at about a 9x from here, you're looking at like a $150 ride, okay? So that's also not out of the possibility. I'm really just vocalizing my thoughts right now. So, I mean, $150 ride if Bitcoin's at, if Bitcoin's at $50,000, $100,000, whatever it is at the end of the year. I think at the end of this year, we could definitely see a, a, a three-figure three ride, okay? So I'll call there, you guys, again, I do apologize that, this isn't set in stone, but if anyone thinks that there's a way to dictate these charts that is like guaranteed, you're wrong. Okay. So that is riot moving on tomorrow. And then we'll get into the short terms. So riot, uh, again, riot looking good today. Mara, on the other hand, really Mara. This is the main reason I wanted to talk short term today is because Mara had a really rough ending to the market, which was surprising. And I want to kind of maybe comfort some of you who dealt with that because trust me i did as well and uh, i want to talk you guys through some of my thoughts revolving that but of course first focusing on the long term let's take a look at these fibs ultimate high at about 15 15 bucks ish low set at two dollars again you guys mar has been absolutely ripping as well actually outperforming from the beginning of november outperforming riot on a uh, i mean i guess because it's i be i guess because it's dropped down so much not necessarily outperforming riot but Mara, definitely a more sporadic stock right now than Riot, okay? So Mara is a little more of a loose cannon. I do think it'll catch up eventually with Riot. But Mara, keep that in mind, you guys, is a little more of a loose cannon as far as technicals and as far as charting is concerned. So let's get straight to the fibs. First, 1.618 is set at $22, which pretty Riot's almost at $22 already. I mean... It just seems like these things are climbing so fast that uh, f from a percentage basis, $17 to $22 is actually very significant. But, I mean, we've just been climbing so freaking hard that it would not support, like, rides pretty close to, to $22. You guys get what I'm saying here. But first one, $22, that would make sense Again, because I do think Riot and Mara are going to be in a perpetual state of catch up with each other. I think 20, a $22 Mara and maybe if Riot goes up to, to like $25, $26, ultimately comes down and then they meet in the middle at around $22, that would make sense to me. Moving on from here again, you guys, I'm just I'm, I'm going to go straight through these. 2.618 is at about $35. Um, 3.618 is at about $47, which is around Mara's previous high. And then the la last one is at $55. So remember, guys, Riot and Mara have pretty pretty similar market caps and mara has actually been really catching up with riot in terms of fundamental progress like uh if you guys remember just just over the course of time we have been talking about riot and mara for for so long and mara really has caught up with um mara really has caught up with riot in terms of market cap but it's it's very important to remember sorry you guys someone was at the door distracted me but um Again, as far as market cap is concerned, Riot has surpassed the $1 billion market cap. Mara is still sitting at a sub $700 million market cap after today's correction. And uh, again, I do think these will play catch up over time considering Mara is really strengthening their fundamental base um, in terms of accumulating more miners, really strengthening their operations. And keep in mind, guys, the more miners you have, the more Bitcoin you can mine, the more you're ultimately paid. So that's important to keep in mind as well. Uh, I would not doubt the fact that Mar could also reach a $10 billion mark cap just because, like I've been saying this entire video, I do think that these will, these will play a perpetual game of catch up. How far ahead is that? How far ahead in the future is that actually going to be? I'm not completely sure, but it is important to keep in mind the fact that, um, again, that it's very possible in markets like this again in a market where nikola can reach a 30 billion dollar market cap it's not out of the realm possibility 
at all for stocks like Riot and Mar that actually have a really good thing going and can prove that they have a good thing going and are <laughs> profitable can reach at least a $10 billion market cap. Okay, so that is that. Let's move on to the short term right now. So we'll go to the hourly. It's going to look a little crazy real quick. We're going to have to zoom out here. So kicking it off with Mara, kicking off with the bad news, unfortunately. Um, Mara did today. Oh man, it was looking so good. I was it was looking so promising. This is such a nice ascending channel that Mara has been printing. Top line of resistance has gone for a very long time too. It has some strength in um in the in the longer term as well. The top side of this ascending channel, lower side was acting as a significant line of support. Unfortunately though, although it seems so obvious, maybe too obvious, you guys. Again, game theory is coming into play. It might seem too obvious that we were gonna we were gonna once again go to reach the top side of this channel. Again, it, it really confused me today. It really did, you guys, because it, like like I've been saying this whole video, Riot and Mara have been playing catch up with each other. It only made sense considering Riot is around $70. Mara's all the way down to $11 right now. That Mar would ultimately come up here to about sixteen fifty. That would be perfect catch up. Say Mar has a really big day tomorrow. Riot has a down day tomorrow. They would even out perfectly. And again, these things will take time. It's it's not fair to expect these to like, oh they're gonna they're gonna level out day by day. No, this could take months to play out. It could take months for them to level out. But ultimately, even if you look at like 2017, 2018, they did have they they did. They played catch up so much and uh, history doesn't repeat itself, but it does rhyme. And I do expect Ryan Mar to, to play out similarly. But unfortunately, again, Mara broke a very, very significant line of short term support today on this ascending channel. And uh, that's bad news, guys. So if we did technically set a higher low here which is the saving grace. If we broke below 1050, that would have been very, very bad news because that would have set an even lower low. Um, so. Tomorrow, we're going to need to see two things. I'm going to draw this here because I drew it earlier for the newsletter in, a, in an emergency emergency update, but it disappeared for some reason. It did not sink. So two things have to happen tomorrow for me to become bullish short term on Mara from a technical perspective. Keep in mind, very long term bullish, of course. Um, but for the short term, I will need to see, Rai, or see, see Mara. I'm sorry. One break back into this ascending channel so this is this blue line right here break back into this ascending channel perfectly above 12 dollars if mark can break above 12 dollars it will technically be back in its ascending channel but then mara also has to break this this i mean this is all happening tomorrow so if mark can i forgot we're on the hourly sorry guys i keep thinking we're on the four hourly this can happen tomorrow these two perfectly intersect at about 12 25. if we can close the day above 12 dollars and 25 cents tomorrow in marathon patent group then we will have successfully broken back into this channel and broken out of this short-term downtrend that we're in on Mara. And that would definitely lead me to believe that next stop is going to be the top side of this channel, again, around $17. So that is my short-term prediction for Mara. Again, guys, all speculation. This is just my prediction. It doesn't mean it's going to play out. Okay. So Riot Blockchain, on the other hand, is looking so strong. You can see again, you guys, this right is in like a beautiful long term channel. Like, just this, I mean, textbook ascending channel with kind of two levels. This is like the top side of this ascending channel, this is the lower side of the ascending channel. And it looks like we've really solidified um, the top, the, the higher end, the top side of this ascending channel um, as, as pretty much the primary ascending channel. Like, this lower side, if it comes into play, uh, is pretty dangerous because once we do, uh, I think once we break this line of support, if we break below fifteen dollars, just to round it out, I do think we could see a significant pullback, like Mara, down to like the the eleven to twelve dollar region, probably twelve dollar region, because I'm focusing on it right here. If we hit it like first week of January, say we happen to see a big pullback, break below this area, we could also see again, you guys. I want I want to give you guys both sides of the of, of the coin here. If we do see a pullback, if we do break below like $15, I think I, I think mid-12s could definitely be in our cards, okay? But on the other hand, I think it's very possible that we do break out of this. Again, you, Riot just keeps testing the top side of this long-term line of resistance on this. Again, on this ascending channel, the more, the longer ascending channels extend, the more bullish I become and the more likely they become, in my experience, to break out to the upside. So although Riot is already doing so well, Again, just because I'm so fundamentally bullish on Riot, there's so much going for it right now. I really believe that Riot can break out of this ascending channel and uh, and come up to that to that 2150 level we were just talking about. Okay, so um, 
Again, guys, there's a lot packed in this one, but I have a lot of thoughts in regard to Riot and Mara. And uh, again, going into 2021, I will continue, guys, to keep you. I will continue to keep you guys posted on all of my thoughts. I'm still excited about these stocks, although they did us very well in 2020. Again, I think they could do us equally as well, if not even better in 2021. So we'll call it there, you guys. Um, if you're still watching right now, drop some hundreds down in the comments. I will let you guys know that I am recording a video titled my number one stock pick of 2021 video tomorrow. Um, I'm going to let you guys know right now, the stock that I'm picking will come as an absolute surprise to absolutely nobody. Okay, so I mean, you guys throw your guesses down below if you know what it is again. I don't think this is going to shock any of you who have been around for any meaningful amount of time, but I will throw some curveballs in the end too. So this is kind of a, I mean, it's going to be kind of a, not one singular stock type of video. Obviously got to say that just for the, for the purpose of the video's sake, but um, I will be throwing some stuff in there. So let me know down below what you guys think. If you guys have any predictions for my prediction um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to talking to you guys downstairs. So uh, as always, you guys, Drop a comment down below. I'll see you downstairs. Until next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.